Hey guys, welcome back. For this tutorial, we're going to learn on how to animate a big tree in GrowFX. So let's get started. Alright, so we're gonna turn off first the leaf and the branches. Let's see where we can add the wind modifier or the wind uh, object. Alright, let's check uh, manual update first. So it won't update all the time every time we hide those branches. And then let's update. Okay, so for this one, we don't need to add some wind for trunk one and two. So let's open up branch one. All right, I think for this one, for branch one, We'll need to add now a wind object, right? So we go to Mesh Builder. And if you see this Meta Mesh here, if you want it to, because sometimes Meta Mesh is pretty heavy because it's connected to each node. So you can convert it to a cylinder mesh by right clicking and convert to cylinder mesh builder. So every time you see a Meta Mesh, you can just convert it to cylinder mesh. So it won't be heavy on your scene or when doing some animation stuff and if you want to convert it back then you can just right click and convert to minimesh all right so but for now we're just gonna convert all minimesh to cylinder mesh all right so for this one we're gonna add a wind modifier so after mesh modifiers Go to just went to the other window. All right, so we're gonna create a, w a wind animation. Create one. All right, so as you can see, it applies now to branch one. Let's name this one branch one. make this come bigger all right and for just for branch one we're gonna make the stiffness to Stiffness to 1000. Okay, and then make it to 3. Uh, maybe, uh, let's go for 5. Right, so still very strong because of the wind. So let's make the wind to. Um, tree. And then let's add some per two, one, two hundred and one hundred, that will be fine, I think. And then let's try. Hmm. I think we'll go for wind speed 5, let's see. Still need a little bit of movement on those branches. Maybe 15. I think it's still too strong. Alright, maybe seven. Yeah, I think that's fine. And then now we'll go to, we're gonna add another wind 
we're just going to copy the win object and then we'll name it as let's see what branch are we now uh, branch 2 so as you can see creating meta mesh so that one we haven't con converted yet to cylinder mesh Hmm. Let me just cancel that one. Let me just pause the video first. All right. Uh. Anyway, we'll update again. It's quite heavy because of the meta mesh. So mana mesh looks good when it's close up or for steals, but for animation it's gonna be heavy for cal calculating those um, preview animations. Let me just cancel that one again. Let me just pause the video and get back to you. All right, so I've already converted it to cylinder mesh for branch 2 and branch 3 because it does take time on making this tutorial if we wait for that to calculate so anyway so from branch 2 let's name this one okay so branch 2 we're gonna add a wind object here from after mesh modifiers and we're gonna pick branch 2 right and then we're just gonna uncheck that manual update again update okay so now it has now a wind object there for branch 2 but we're gonna change We're gonna change the branch to animation to stiffness will be see one thousand and then let's make it a tree. Alright, so there's gonna be slight movement on branch 2 that's fine and now for branch 3 and 4 and 5 since they're almost attached to each other we're just gonna use we're just gonna use one wind object for them for branch tree four or five now it's getting heavy because of its big tree and lots of uh, branches on the end part all right so Alright, so we'll duplicate the green object again. So just be wary about these big trees with lots of leaves. Every time you work on it, it's going to be very heavy on the viewport and calculating those um, updates. Alright, so this will be 3, 4, 5. Okay, and then we're gonna apply again another 
uh, we're gonna add a wind animation again which is the stiffness of that one is make it 1000 and then 10 right so since we're using one wind object for three four five we're just going to copy this one and then go to branch four and then paste instance so that's link the wind object is linked to branch tree it's so it's going to be an instance let me just cancel that one let's update it later so branch 5 paste again oh wait it hasn't been pick, pick this one up all right all good so as you can see it's branch 345 which is this Okay, so uh, sometimes if you lose the grow effects, you can just click H, the keyboard, and click that one. Grow effects file. And then you can just manual update now. Since we already applied the 3, 4, 5 uh, wind object. Okay, so there's there will be a uh, animation here around those branches. It's not that visible this time. Not so accurate, but you should have that animation. And now we're going to apply another wind object to the leaf. See, it does take time to load because there's a lot of leaves on those branches. It's a big tree. Okay, so we're going to duplicate this one. And then leaf, name it as leaf, change color so we can see it, okay, and now we're gonna go to leaf node, and then create a modifier, wind, and then pick leaf, uh, pick the wind object. And now for the leaf, stiffness will be just wait for this to load up. Alright, so change it to 1000 and then 100. So there will be more movement and swaying on the leaves. So that's why we're bumping up the stiffness and the flexibility. Alright, and then for the leaf wing object, we're going to change it to 300. Okay, so... 
let's see it's hard to tell so we'll make a preview now okay um i already did some preview for this one before i made this tutorial so i'm gonna show it to you now let me just pause the video all right so after we do the make preview uh, this is the result so that's a close-up one so we can see the swing of the branches and the leaves and the other trunk or the branch the big branches so always make a preview before you finalize all your animation all right so the other one the whole tree is how it looks so a little bit breezy which is good also and if you want like a foreground kind of a tree on your shot let's say looking to the house or building it's gonna look like this one is zooming in imagine zooming in something like that so that's the tutorial for this one so just keep in mind every time we do we deal with this kind of um, grow effects file with lots of leaves and branches it's going to be really heavy in your scene especially calculating when i made a preview of this one it took like maybe 20 minutes to just to make a preview or 30 or so something like that but it depends on your pc my pc only got a 64 gig ram so think it's fine but yeah it's taking slow to render this kind of file all right if you're looking to make it into a corona or v-ray animated proxy there's some links at the end of this video and yeah thank you for watching and hope you'll share this video to your fellow artists and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next tutorial